Hello everyone, today is Wednesday 7th of December and we are going to do a quick overview of um, US study. It, um, today is slightly later than normal, my recording and my analysis been really, really busy this morning. Um, let's have a look at it, okay, shall we? Now, before I actually want to do a top-down analysis quickly, um, before I do that, I'm just going to show you guys trades that I took yesterday. Um, so... Let's go on to the five minutes of US 30. Let me just minimize all of this so it's clear. There we go. So as you guys can see, it was a beautiful down trend, um, down trend on the um, US 30. And so you, you know my rule. So as long as my moving averages fan out accordingly. So this is the 10, the first one here, 10. 21, 50, the blue is 50, and the pink is the 200, which literally tells you the trend in that particular time frame, okay? So if they were to fan out, I am now looking for uh, bearish pin bars because I'm looking for sales, right? So basically, it has been a downtrend all the way from here, and then we had a little bit of consolidation at this this area here. If you guys can see what I'm saying. Let me just, just draw a quick box. I'm going to erase it. But this whole area here was literally consolidation. And then we continued back on the downtrend. Okay, I'm going to remove this just so that it doesn't make it more messy than it already looks. Um, okay, so let me just show you guys the trade that I took yesterday. So you know when my moving average is fair now, I am looking for bearish pin bar pins or rejection pins of the 10 or the 21 EM uh, moving average. So basically, there was two bearish pin bars printed here. I literally went in at the second one at this print of this one. Stop loss was really tight, just slightly above touching the 21 EMA so that even if it does kind of, you know, decide to go up and just either a little bit i gave it a little bit of a room uh but i kept it really tight just because it's under five minutes and five minutes sometimes it can give you like you know the how would i say i feel like it kind of moves really fast just because it's a five minute candle i don't know how to, um yeah if you guys get what i'm saying so i just feel like sometimes on a five minute i tend to either a give it a bit more room if i'm really really confident of this trade or I kind of keep it really tight if I feel like, you know what, it might just reverse on me uh, at any point of time. So um, that was the reason why at this one here, I kept it really tight because the overall trend was a buy. And um, as we did the analysis yesterday, so for me, it was like, okay, it is fanning out as nicely as it should, but I really do want to keep it as tight as possible, right? So stop loss was 32 pips to 151 take profit. That was literally risk to reward ratio, as you can see, is 4.72, right? So this was a good trade overall, literally no drawdown, guys. So I took the trade here and it came all the way. I literally put my take profit at the end of the zone. I was not watching this trade. If not, I would have wait for candle close and, and see what it was doing and maybe just stop stop loss trail but i didn't so i just put it there and um i was done with this and then i left it and then we had another trade set up here at the bottom can you guys see this bearish pin bar print i'm going to go if you guys can see it shall i make it bigger okay hold on this one this bearish pin bar can you see the bearish pin bar printed here so at this entry was my entry and this one i took it only for uh, a one is the two risk to reward ratio just because I knew a reversal was coming soon because of my divergence, which I will show you guys here. So if you can see, like, from the top, it's dropping. But if you can watch the, um, what do you call that? If you can watch as the candles are printing, the, um, the divergence, oh my god, the divergence, basically, it's kind of like on the upward trend. And as it was dropping, I felt like it was just not going any further down. So I was just a bit concerned with like, I just knew that there was going to be a trend reversal coming soon. And so I didn't want to kind of put it. So I just left it as one as the two. Again, very stop tight loss, 32 pips. Actually, this one, I did give it a little bit of reading room, but 32 pips and um, 64 pips take profit, which was a one as a two risk. Uh, risk to reward ratio which i felt was again really good of course you know we could have ridden it all the way down if you have taken it all the way down to this this would be 126 pips right but i did not but yes yeah, so that's that's what i meant yesterday in my um 
video where I was saying, like, if you just wait for the trend, like, be patient on a particular time frame, which, you know, sometimes we don't really have to sit on an hour or four hours, guys. You can drop it down, but you have to, like I said, always bear in mind the overall trend and be prepared for any reversals that come, and therefore your stop losses have to be really, really tight. But when it is in a trend, you will be able to catch, like, two to three times uh, and two to three entries, you know, in a day <clears throat> or in that trend move. Because that's how it kind of pans out most of the time because it's always forming the lower lows and lower highs. So there's always going to be like a point where you can come and, you know, take an entry when it's panning out as as it should. Right. So that's that's the trend. Um, that was the trade for um, yesterday, guys. I'm just going to delete all of this. I kept it just to show you what I did, you know. And um, now I'm just going to go on to the daily just because I think we need to kind of draw new zones um the zones i personally feel have are no longer valid um let me just see where we could draw so this is to be fair guys this one here i still think it's a valid on a daily because this is to the uptrend it has kind of gone down but we have to bear in mind that this could totally be a fake out here and like you know because everybody now will be thinking it's going to go down bearish but it could totally be a fake out and go back up so i am still very very bullish on on us study just because even the daily trend is still showing as a buy i'm gonna quickly take a look at um the weekly yeah so it is still a buy on a weekly too like i said you know it, it could work either way so like i said on a weekly before this could be the fake out and right now it's just going to go down but again if you're trading weekly for that matter but i don't but if you do trade weekly wait for the retest candle anyway um i'm gonna go down to the one hour and i'm just gonna see where we are so on a one hour is a sell but look at this now i'm gonna on the, see whenever i see this patterns forming guys i am um i will on my divergence yeah, I will on my divergence indicator just because I want to see what the divergence is doing. Now, take a look at this. It's forming, I mean, it, as long as it just stays where it is, that is. Like, it is forming a double bottom, right? And if you look at divergence, I'm just going to quickly show you guys this. This is a, no, we don't want a horizontal line. I'm just going to do a trend. Okay. Oopsie. What is this, honestly? Okay, I mean, it is a straight line. Let's just put it that way. Okay. I'm just going to draw it at the close of the candle. If you want it to, you could just take it here, to be honest, at the bottom. All right, let's do the bottom. I mean, it is a straight line, to be fair, guys. It's just that my drawing is not really very accurate. But there we go. Just wait for it to come down and touch it. But having said that, look at this. Can you guys see this? So if I were to hover at this point, it's exactly at this bearish pin bar print, right? A bullish pin bar print. And when you actually kind of look, this is on going upwards now. So I I am just going to be a bit more careful um, on what it's going to do because literally it could reverse or it could just do a little bit of a rejection here and continue on the downtrend again. But it's already come back here to do a touch of the zone anyway. So for me, I, I'm just keeping an eye on it. I haven't really seen anything pan out. It is a downtrend at the moment on a one hour, but it's not, um, the moving averages are not really lining up the way I want it to for me to kind of look for any entries in the one hour time frame. I'm going to drop it down to the 15 minutes and let's see. Yes, on the 15 minutes, guys, it's beautiful fan out right now. Um, let's see if we could have found any entries on a one uh, 15 minutes candle, okay? I mean, uh, yeah, you see, there was a bearish pin bar. If I had seen this, I probably would have gone in here. Now, let's just see where I would have put my stop loss. To be fair, I might have been taken out with my stop loss. If I had gone in here, this is with the entry. My stop loss would have been somewhere about, okay, my stop loss would have been the touch of the zone, to be fair. Okay, just to be really honest, this is where I would have put my stop loss, 48 pips, that's a bit too much, I feel, but it's fine. Um, But it would have taken me out anyway, because it did go into the zone. So, and then it continued back on a drop. So this could have been a loss. I may have re-entered, or I may not have. May, most likely, I may not have re-entered, but, um, but yeah, this would have been a profit if the stop loss had been a little bit more generous, but I don't think so. I would have just put it to the touch of the zone. So this would have been an entry that I would have lost. 
um, even though it worked out the way that we wanted it to, okay? And if we had, this had worked out the way, it would have been like 53 pips, stop loss, and take profit is um, 117. Right, guys. So um, at this point, really, I'm just waiting. Can you see a bullish print bar printing on a smaller time frame? Just like what we said, a reversal could be happening. Or basically, it's just going to do another rejection here, give us another entry point for it to drop again. We just have to see because it is forming like highs, and then we've got the next lower high dropping down to the next lower low, and then we can form a next lower high. Right. If it starts to break at this point, I'm going to just delete this. If it starts to break, over this point here, then we can kind of start seeing whether it's actually going to do a reversal to the upside. Okay, so out of five minutes, yeah, it is a beautiful uh, moving average. Like this would have been nice on the five minutes. You see, guys, the bearish pin by here. Now this would have a trade that would have, would have really got us quite a lot of pips. Look at that. So a short, basically, entry would have been at this blue candle close. And stop loss will be really tight here, 26 pips, and you can really ride it all the way, can't you? Look at that. Yeah, so that is literally 150 pips. If you wanted to just play one is to two, basically it's about 55 pips plus minus, right? So that's that's basically that in a nutshell for you guys. So at the moment, the short-term entries will sell, but at the moment I'm not selling anything just because it's yeah off the divergence that I'm just waiting to see what it does. There's no entries in even in the five minutes time frame at the moment. So wait for the right entry, guys. Like if you were to see this bearish print, this again, look. So again, you might, yeah, I don't think I would have lost this. You would have given quite a bit of, you would have been stop loss here. So anyway, so this was an entry. This was an entry. And yeah, you, you basically, this would have been an entry that might have lost if you didn't come out. But yes, you know, because you didn't go all the way up. So Again, you don't win all the time, but the probability of the wins is very high if you actually stick to specific rules, your trading rules, and um, it, which kind of and do back testing, guys, because it's not just that oh I'm setting up this trading rules and I'm just going to stick to it. No, you have to back test to make sure that it has made money in the past, and if it has, there is no way that you're not going to make money in the future, right? So always make sure you back test your trading strategies um, on the pair that you want to kind of trade and then kind of apply that trading strategy and stick to it because if it works then you want to kind of stick to what works okay so this is a trade that i i didn't take it but i'm just showing you guys where you could have gone in with just the rules that i set right um but yes yeah, so at the moment right now it is going up so i'm just going to wait to see whether there's anything setting up but like I said, I am a bit cautious just because it could be a fake out here and it's going to go to the up upside, right? So because there is a leg out here, we have drawn the zone. This could totally be a, a fake out at this point and literally going up to the upside. So just keep an eye on the trades, be trade safe and um, happy trading and back again tomorrow with another video.